Well, hello. Welcome back to another plan with me. This is for the week of June 17th, aka the week I ran a half marathon super unprepared. Uh, but we are using this kit from Caress Press. Um, this was her mystery from April, I think? March? I think it was March. It doesn't really fit. It fits the vibe of like training is a circus and nothing makes any sense. But we're just going to go and have fun anyway. It checks out. Um, and then I am using a foil bundle in like a pink, kind of like magenta, hollow sparkle from Scorpio Prince Co. It's just a foil bundle I got in a random foil pull, I think. Um, but yeah. I think it all checks out. I was a little undecided on using the yellow, the extra color, but I did wind up using it and I'm very happy that I did that. All right, so what happened this week? Uh, work was chaotic and work has been chaotic ever since. Um, Florida was screwing everything up, but don't you worry. They pull, they pull their heads out of their asses. Um, for game seven, which is when it all matters anyway. Um, with work being so busy, I did take a council meeting at work on the Monday. Um, I almost missed my cousin's birthday, but we got that all sorted. Uh, I ran out of, I was running out of Nespresso and I finally placed an order and then the delivery came and then they said that nobody was home and we have a concierge and they delivered someone else's Nespresso and I'm like, Hello. Uh, that's why you don't wait until you're almost done with espresso. I was okay. I had I had enough for the next day, but it was like then we were in. You gotta go to Starbucks territory or uh, Terra Breads or JJ Bean. Uh, I did pick up my race package for a half marathon that I was very unprepared to run. Mm. Um, oh yeah, Copa America began so. Um, Canada was playing Argentina for their first game and they lost and we were like, oh, at least we're getting some experience in this tournament, blah, blah, blah. You'll see. Canada's better than you think we are. They might even be better than the US or Mexico. Um, then there was like a huge ass, like decommissioned trestle brain train bridge fire uh, and it closed the car bridge the oak street bridge all night like you couldn't see the videos on reddit were wild uh friday we did a pre inwed which is international women in engineering day celebration with cupcakes and a happy hour and then jason went camping i wasn't home in time to watch the hockey game but i was keeping my eye on it fuck the oilers um on saturday uh, i went shopping then I binged friends, Jason came home, Brie came home, she had her camping hangover. And then on Sunday, I ran a half where the two hour and 10 minute pacer absolutely did not run the pace of a two hour and 10 minute half marathon. Um, so because we went out too fast, that was the end of that. And then that same evening, we had my in-laws surprise 50th wedding anniversary party. And it was so much fun. My mother-in-law was very much surprised so glad we pulled that off um and then we were just up really late base looking cute okay it is thursday and it is like quarter after seven but i don't care i've worked so much this week i will go on a little late that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes <clears throat> Okay, so this is the week of my race. So on Monday, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did the usual. We got the coffee and the YouTube while getting ready, which is what I was doing before I realized, fuck it, I want to film. That's gonna fit. Son of a. Gotta 
let's just move this up a little bit. And we'll put this one down. There we go. Uh, so it's currently pouring rain and we have a social event tonight, which is at the Vancouver Canadians baseball game. And honestly, I knew that we wouldn't luck out and have the same weather we had last year, but this is just atrocious. So when I get to the office, I'm gonna have to go find the ponchos. So if anyone wants to bring, they can. The weather does show that the rain is supposed to let up a little bit. But you can't trust the weather forecast in Vancouver ever. It said it was going to rain during my half, and it did not. So, that was out about. So, fingers crossed. I understand the stadium is going to be wet, but at least if it can just, like, chill on the rain by the evening. And honestly, that's how it's gone a lot lately. If it rains, it tends to like taper by about seven o'clock. So I just want it to not be pouring. I want to actually be able to enjoy the game. I mean, they said it was going to rain when we were at the game with Bree and it didn't rain. So I'm not asking for sun. I'm really just asking for it to not rain. So thoughts and prayers for me this time. But by the time you're watching this, that's long over. And there goes the air conditioning, because it's still warm. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. There's actually a lot of complaints in our building right now about the air conditioning. And the developer put in like a specialized system and it's it's horrible, it's atrocious. Um, but I think this was way back. This is like close to when we moved in. So like almost 10 years ago, people had to like fully replace their systems and they're customized so not everybody works on them. If you buy a new build and they say, we put this customized mechanical system in, run. Run far away. Don't do it. Or if you do it, be prepared. Because I think pe people who did replace their um, heat pumps spent like $30,000. And I'm like, well, that's great. I currently don't have $30,000. The dog took it all. <laughs> There's like a fair amount of people that have complained that they're like, it's turning on, but it's not blowing a ton of cool air. And I'm like, I sort of get on. Uh, so Florida had a chance to win this night and they absolutely did not. Order myself some espresso because I have a latte habit. I was gonna make an ice latte, but I don't think we had enough ice cubes. <clears throat> so I gotta remember to put water in the fridge, in the fridge, in the freezer. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then yesterday in real time, I also had a meeting with um, my marketing colleague, or lead, Shireen, um, and then the admin assistant and our marketing assistant uh, all had a virtual call. Because we're not all in the same office. 
and I will be overseeing a lot of things in the three and a half weeks that Shireen is gone. So also thoughts and prayers for me. I will basically be living at the office. The good news is, is at least Shireen is not gone until... I'm just going to put this down here so I can write math up here. Uh, the good news is Shireen is not gone until after the golf tournament, so at least I don't have the chaos of the golf tournament, which is very quickly sneaking up on me. Erred on this, but whatever. We're not switching things around. <clears throat> and I actually think by the time this goes live, because we're already at the end of June, which is horrifying. I will officially be a part of Carly Plant's PR team. So I will leave a code below if you want to go snag any of her stickers. One, two, three, four, five. I still have to sit down and figure, I'm like running low on a bunch of scripts that I had ordered from Carly and I'm, I gotta, I gotta figure that out. <clears throat> Canada played this day. Who did we play? Argentina. It's the Copa America. Domi and I have conversations on the daily about soccer right now. It's hilarious. Um, if you watch the Euro Cup, which none of you do. Well, not none of you. Sure, one of you might. Um, in the Euro Cup, there's been, oh, I put some of it. Well, I don't have a lot for Friday. We might have to pause this plan with me and pick it up tomorrow. Because there's other stuff I can pull. See, this is what happens when you pull stickers not with your planner. I was like, I definitely did one on Sunday. <sighs> I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Euro Cup. Uh, so there have been so many own goals in the Euro Cup. And then... Domi sent me a message yesterday. Yep, yesterday was Wednesday. And Jamaica and Ecuador were playing. But Jason, like, he doesn't like saving passwords in my last pass vault, which I don't understand. Um, because I hate remembering passwords. It's a lot of work. So I'm not signed into TSN, so I can't watch anything right now. And again, he's gone to work. So I'm just gonna have to text him because I'm really quite tired of just having my phone open on the like Google, uh, like live score thing. Okay, we're just gonna skip Friday and we'll come back to that. Saturday, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, anyways, in the Ecuador-Jamaica game, 
there was an own goal. And Domi was like, oh my God, it's happening here too. <laughs> the own goal situation right now is just, it's, it's crazy. And she's not wrong. The golden boot ceremony for the Euro Cup is going to be hilarious if teams don't get it together. It'll be fun for us, though. <clears throat> um, and also, refs be reffing. They're up to their usual BS. I'm just going to switch these two colors around. Um, so, in the Canada, um, seriously, what game just happened? Canada and, you'd almost think I wasn't drinking coffee. What game was that? In Lamont Sifu play. Peru. Why was that so difficult? I don't know. Um, so Peru got a red card. And of course, Peru fans are up in arms. It's a red card for jerseys. Um, but apparently there should have been a second red card for a headbutt. And I'm like, damn it, why can I not see any of this? <clears throat> So I naturally had to wait till I got home. I was watching the highlights and the headbutt. He just like literally goes up to Alistair Johnston and like butts him full on in the head. Not, a, should have been a red card for sure. No. I'm like, eh, well, glad to see the soccer is still up to its usual bullshit. And, and, while Canada lost this game against Argentina, which really are, that's not, that's not surprising. Um, we beat Peru, which is the first time Canada has won a game in Copa America, I believe. Anyways, soccer's been a riot. And I have a friend going to Germany. I'm like, man, we've been, where did we go? I think when we did our, like our trip to England and Scotland, when we like drove and trained through to Scotland, um, I'm pretty certain after that is when we went to Paris because we flew home via Paris. And it was the Euro Cup, and Paris was just lit. Very busy. Okay, Sunday. Race day! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, this should be fun. All right, so while I get up early for every race, because they usually start like between seven and eight. <clears throat> you would think I was still fucking sick. <coughs> this is getting outrageous. Uh, I had to be up even earlier this day because Jason was volunteering. Bless his heart. Um, and he needed to be there at 6.30. There's only a small window where they'll let cars through, which makes sense. I don't think this is going to fit. I'm going to have to cut it. <laughs> yes, I am wearing a sweater. I mean, it's hot in here right now, but... Uh, 
Um, so Jason had a small window, but because it's at UBC, um, there's only like limited Evo parking. You can only park in particular spots. So if you don't get a spot, um, you are less screwed. I'm shedding hair, it's gross. So Jason dropped me, Andrea, Carla, and Andrew off at like 6.15, and the race started at 6.30. 6.30, Just gonna switch this little thing. Um, and then I didn't realize that he was also sticking around for the 5K. I don't know what the 5K route is. I honestly I don't care. So I gave him my uh, stuff because last year, last year, he finished and everyone knew, everyone just told him to go so that he could try and catch me down at the beach, which he did do. Um, so I was kind of expecting the same thing again, not necessarily for him to be at the beach, but to be at the finish line. Um, yeah, that was not the case. So I was a little bit cold. I was also not feeling well that last, I'd say it was hitting at four, but definitely like three and a half kilometers to go. I was like, I was feeling rough, but I was not feeling good. Kind of felt like Chicago. So whatever this nauseousness thing is, it, it's got a chill the F out. Uh, so then I met a bunch of friends in the run club at the finish line and I messaged my physio to see how his run went because he was trying for a specific time. He was trying to slay his demons um, and he absolutely blew up and I will try and put a photo in right here. At the finish line, so I messaged Christian and asked how his race went, because I presumed he was logged on. And he messaged me and goes, um, I saw you, we crossed at similar time or whatever, and I sprinted, like full on sprinted the last 50 meters and passed you. And I was like, that's rude. So I'll put, I'll try to remember to put those two photos in there, because you can see the one where he's behind me. And then you can see at the finish where he's ahead of me by like a hair. And I'm like, well, screw you. <laughs> so then we went for brunch. Came home, had a bath. I was absolutely exhausted. I fell asleep outside of the bath. Jason just let me nap. And then we got ready because it was Jason's 50th wedding anniversary. And there was a whole big party. I don't know what to do now about Friday, BRB. Okay, let's go back to Friday. What a plan with me, you guys, hey? <laughs> so I just added in the other things that like I could have done, didn't realize that I did the box extender. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, We did coffee and YouTube. Already can't do this. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so this was not International Women in Engineering Day because that was the 23rd. However, we obviously are not working on, on Sunday, so we celebrated it this day. So we ordered cupcakes from a women-owned business because we always order like little sweet treats for holidays. There's always treats in our office no matter what, but... And then we did a happy hour. And 
the husband was camping with the guys, so house to myself. I did have to, this meant of course that I had to feed myself, which is unfortunate. Could I just order takeout? Yes, I could, but I had a race, so I gotta make food myself. Okie dokie. Okay, we're just gonna cut off run. Okay, but how cute would this font be? Does anybody make this font? Cause that's cute. I would buy a lot of sheets of that. Uh, and then work was just crazy hella busy as per usual. So we got cupcakes for Inwed. And then I'm just gonna put Inwed in this box because it's not actually Inwed. It's pre-Inwed. So then I got that for our little happy hour. And this little cutie patootie for Jason going camping. We took the dog. Not gonna lie, a couple months ago, we didn't know if she'd be here. And she was living her best life. Um, Edmonton won again this night. And I was like, uh, I think Florida is done. And then I like binge some YouTube and some true crime. But I wanted to use one of Kristen's, Kristen's planner stickers. I know how to English. I should not do anything that involves copy today. There we go. She cute. She is so cute. All right. Well, if you like this insane plan with me, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.